Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video in our devlog series for Grounded. In today's video, go over some of the new content and features that came with today's 0.6.0 update. My name is Shyla, and I am the social media manager here at Obsidian Entertainment. Now let's get started. It's always a fun time when new neighbors move in. And this update brought three new ones that you can find by looking up. Mosquitoes are now living in the yard, and they are very excited to meet you. If you want to go say hi to them, one of their favorite snacks is aphid honeydew. So head over to your closest aphid honey hole, and you'll be sure to find the mosquitoes hanging out. After sunset, you'll start to see some extra twinkling in the night sky. And not because the stars are getting brighter, but because fireflies have decided to move in. These little flies love to investigate dewdrops. So if you're starting to get thirsty and your canteen is bone dry, look for these little green lights in the sky and you may also find something to drink. The last new neighbor, and for some of you perhaps the most exciting, are bees. What yard is complete without bees? Not ours. You'll find the bees buzzing around in the sky, bumbling from flower to flower. During their travels, they will start to accumulate pollen on their legs. If you are ever in need of pollen, just find one of these little guys with pollen on their legs and attack them, and the pollen will fall off. And then you'll have to fight them. Be prepared. Of course, with new insects comes new craftable items that are sure to help you out in the backyard. Some of you may have already gotten your hands on some rotten bee armor pieces, but now with your new neighbors all moved in, you'll be able to craft your own set. But wait, there's more! That rotten bee armor you may already have? Well, you can analyze those pieces to unlock the recipe for the bee armor set. Or if you're brave enough to get your hands on some bee parts, you can unlock the recipe that way as well. With the introduction of fireflies, you naturally have access to a new light source. These new critters will unlock the ability to craft the firefly headlamp, which is sure to make your nighttime excursions feel a little bit safer. Speaking of feeling safer, you'll be able to craft two new weapons to use. One being the Stinger Spear, a supreme stabbing apparatus that comes with an increased critical hit chance. The other is the Mosquito Needle, a fast and deadly rapier that mimics the functionality of a mosquito's blood-sucking tool and grants the wielder the ability to gain life back with successful hits. So, you've crafted your armor and your new weapons. It's time to craft an extra bit of safety you can carry around with you called the Weevil Shield. A weapon in one hand and your new shield in the other can mean a world of difference out in the backyard. If you're looking for a new projectile and one that can heal you and your friends, then be sure to unlock the recipe for the Heal Vasa. This juicy mosquito blood sack will shower you and your allies in a small area with a healing splash of filtered blood jelly. Mmm, yay! Lastly, there are two new friends that you can make to display anywhere in the yard. The first being the adorable stuffed bee that is sure to add an extra level of cuteness to your base. The second being the stuffed firefly, which doubles as an additional light source. New backyard walkway ideas, anyone? Now, let's talk game mechanic changes that I'm sure you'll appreciate. The first change we're looking at deals with your inventory space. Since Grounded first launched, one of the most popular features requested has been to have your equipped items have their own space in your inventory, leaving you with more inventory space to fill up. And that is exactly what the team has done. 
You may have noticed it earlier in this vlog, but here it is in all its glory. Along with giving them their own space in your inventory, we also made it that, should you die, all of your equipped items remain on your character. This will help you greatly in venturing forth to retrieve the rest of your items left in your backpack. For those of you who pride yourselves in using the biggest weapons possible, meaning the different clubs you can wield, the Barbarian perk has been added, giving your character the ability of having more damage output when swinging and smashing your enemies. Speaking of combat, as mentioned earlier, using the Weevil Shield will now allow you to block attacks from creatures in the backyard that weren't previously blockable with a weapon giving you more chances to save your own health while reducing the health of your enemies with your own weapon attacks. Lastly, we updated the visual effects to the Brot Burst. You're welcome. We hope that you enjoyed all the new content and features that came with today's update. And we highly encourage you to go check out the full patch notes to see everything that was included that we couldn't list in this vlog. As always, we look forward to hearing all of your feedback. So please reach out to us here on Twitter, on Facebook, on Reddit, on Discord. We are reading everything and appreciate it all. Also, feel free to comment below with your suggestions and feedback for the game and for future vlogs you would like to see us put out. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you out in the backyard. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay grounded. <laughs>